Worst snow in at least 16 years has brought parts of the country to a standstill and given many an unexpected day off. The South Island was hardest hit with roads closed, flights cancelled and people told to stay home if possible. Wellington's recorded its lowest temperature ever and the polar storm's taking another swipe at the North Island right now. We'll have more on that soon. But first, the impact in the south. Max Banya's standing by in Queenstown and Vicky Wilkinson-Baker is in the quake-affected eastern suburbs of Christchurch. First, though, Tom McRae joins us live from Rickerton. Tom. Good evening. Well, it's been unbelievable scenes here today in Christchurch. Take a look around. Everything, everything in the city has been blanketed in snow. That's the first time in over a decade. Uh, it also means, though, that 2,000 houses were without power earlier today. Uh, but Orion say in the last half hour or so, they've managed to get that down to only 50. St John's uh, have had to deal with almost two dozen injuries. People slipping and falling on ice or snow but thankfully nothing serious but it's uh, the carnage on the roads that's kept uh, authorities extremely busy. Cantabrians know adversity well. For some there's beauty in this latest test. Oh, one thing about Christchurch is it's all beautiful again. Yes the kids were out and the adults. Yeah it's good fun. And the graders. Most workers were told not to come to work. If I can make it there, he said, if not, the boss will come pick me up. While some tried unsuccessfully. Keep going. Oh, this is about the fifth car I've helped push out of this small section of road. Roads throughout the city were clogged as visibility fell. This is the heaviest snowfall Christchurch has had for 15 years. Now, police have urged motorists to stay off the roads. Many, as you can see, haven't. And still, the snow comes down. It was whiteout at Christchurch Airport too. Planes grounded since late last night. We ordered the plane at 11.30 last night and we stayed inside the plane till 3am this morning. Then we were asked to leave due to weather conditions and we've slept in the airport overnight. Hundreds forced to wait it out. The next available flight is in, on Thursday. Canterbury University has also been closed. It's a new experience and uh, we're just enjoying it at the moment. Students enjoying a day without classes. So we'll sit down and have a few beers for the day. The red zone remained off limits. Simply because of the, the volume of the snow, it's meant we couldn't have um, traffic movements through here safely. Uh, obviously the, the operators would struggle to be seeing some of the taller buildings from their cabs and, and uh, so it's just a bit dangerous for us. Transforming the former heart of the city. While it may look beautiful, the fear now is if all the snow turns to ice. Yes, the real worry is that this beautiful white fluffy stuff turns into this grey wet mush and that's going to cause uh, extreme carnage on the roads throughout the night and into the morning. Uh, so police are warning uh, motorists to stay off the road for the next 24 to 48 hours, if at all possible. Now the council uh, will be out in force tomorrow, early tomorrow morning, gritting the roads, trying to clear them as much as possible. Uh, the, also the concern is that um, once all the snow melts, it will clog up the already damaged uh, wastewater and sewerage systems in Christchurch. So they're looking at ways to make sure that that doesn't happen. All right, thank you very much, Tom McRae.